Hey, what's up guys? Willington here. So not too long ago, I started learning about rebounding. And what rebounding basically is, is um, it's an aerobic exercise that is performed jumping by jumping on a trampoline or a mini trampoline or what is called a rebounder at least in this realm of things that we're talking about it is both good for the old and it's good for the little ones it's just overall a good kind of exercise which is probably why i'm kind of into it lately the reason it's gaining popularity is because it's a low impact cardiovascular exercise so it's a lot better on your joints as opposed to running or uh, something like that like running on a hard surface um, also i feel like it's a lot more fun to be jumping on a trampoline as opposed to going out and running but that's just me. I know a lot of people that enjoy running. Um, I used to enjoy running, but as you grow, there's some things that start, start to shave off of the things you enjoy, and running is one of those things for me. Uh, but rebounding, the reason I actually got so much into it is after I learned, um, this varies depending on where you look, but according to people who have studied this, at least bouncing on here for about 10 minutes is equivalent minimum about 40 minutes of running when i learned about that i was like wait, wait, how, how do i get one how do i get on when do i start doing this <laughs> there's actually quite a few benefits to rebounding so let's say um, it helps with your abs because as you jump like that your muscles your abs are actually doing a little bit of work it might not be as much as doing crunches or anything like that but the longer you do this, it's also helping out with your core. It also helps with your balance because jumping on this thing involves some sort of balance, you know? Rebounding can also help with your leg muscles and your joints because, you know, you are putting them to work as you jump on here. Increases your endurance the longer you do it. It also stimulates your lymphatic system, which also helps your body um, flush out all sorts of toxins. So the list of good things that you can gain from using a rebounder kind of goes on and on and you can actually get into it and read a lot about rebounding on the internet. Like it's a thing, it's a real thing and it's awesome and I've been enjoying doing it. But to do it, you also need a tool and this is where I tell you about this guy right here. This rebounder that I'm sitting on that I love using is a 48 inch rebounder and it's made by a company called First E. I love using this bad boy. It has a load capacity of up to 440 pounds. So it's both for adults and you can actually, if they can fit on here, you can actually have multiple kids jumping on here and it will be fine. And speaking of kids, if you have kids, this is nice because it has the handrail that they can hold onto while jumping so they don't fall. Um, but also if you are just starting out and you're not very good on balance and stuff like that, this could be very handy to hold on until you get used to jumping on here and you are more comfortable. So I love that it has these handles. Personally, I probably would have taken it off, but I do have kids like you see, so it's been nice for them to be able to just use the handrail and it's actually adjustable. This is, uh, I don't know where I put it, but it can go higher than this right here if you're taller or you have older kids or they just, whatever, you can put it higher or lower depending on what you want to do with it. So I love that it has this handle on here. I leave mine out here in the open, in the playroom, just so the kids can, I guess, play on it whenever they feel like it. But also whenever I, I want to, I can just go over and jump on it. But this is actually a foldable rebounder, which makes it really easy for you to store away if you have a uh, limited space or if you have to transport it somewhere, it's just easy, it just folds up and yes, a lot easier 
a lot easier to handle that way. The rebounder comes in a fairly small box and since it's a foldable design, it comes folded up. In the package, you also get all the hardware that you will need as well as instructions. The assembly is actually pretty easy. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is to unfold the rebounder just like this. Install all the legs just by screwing them into the rebounder. If you don't need the handrail, you are all set. But if you need the handrail, just go ahead and install that, which is also pretty easy. Start by installing the base of the handrail, which just slips over two of the legs. And then attach the rest of the handrail onto the base, just like that, and you are all set. The handrail is ready to go. The rebounder feels sturdy jumping on. It doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. It will take pretty much the weight capacity that it's recommended for. Um, and it does not like make noises or squeak or anything like that, despite the fact that it's using um, a spring mechanism on here. The only thing I find that it makes it make noise is when you have this handrail installed because these are not like super tight so there's a little bit of that sound that comes out of when you have this on but the base and everything is all super sturdy on there which I really appreciate. The other thing I appreciate a lot is the fact that they do have a cover covering up the spring mechanism. Um, I do this with kids, like you see, uh, but so it's really nice to be able to know that if maybe my youngest steps on the spring area, like away from where the rebounding section is, um, her foot is not just gonna go through anything like that, which she's done before, cause she doesn't really know not to step there. Uh, but yeah, it's nice that they do have that cover right on here to ensure that nobody's going to be stepping through them, especially if you have kids. This is really nice to be able to have that, that area covered up just like they did on this rebounder. For those cases where you might need to fold it up, here is how to do it. Take off all the legs and handrail if you had it on there and literally just reverse the putting together process uh, and you are all set. In the end, rebounding is really fun and it's really good for you and the entire family. In fact, rebounding is what might bounce some health back into your family or your life. So maybe you should try it out. And when you get to that point, hey, this is the tool that you might need right here. The Rebounder 48 inch made by First E. Go check it out, I'll leave the link to it in the description down there. Also, I feel like it goes without saying, but I will say it anyways. I'm not a doctor, I'm just a random dude on the internet telling you about rebounding. Before you get into it, especially if you have some health issues, you might wanna talk to your doctor before you get into it. Don't just do it based off of what I've been talking about, okay? Go seek your medical health expert's opinion before you do it, okay? But in general, rebounding is fun, it is cool, it is good for you, okay? It just brings back the little kid in me, I feel like. So it's fun to do and it's good for my health. So, oh, 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 oh. bye. <laughs>